This is my number one reversal trading strategy. I've used this countless times over the last five years, and this is one of the easiest and most profitable reversal strategies that you're ever going to find in cryptocurrency. And it all revolves around one orange dot. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Aaron Dishner from The Better Traders, where I can teach anyone how to become a better trader. And in this video, I'm going to give you the exact steps, the blueprint to printing profits with the TBO, the Trending Breakout Indicator. So let's head on over to TradingView. Over here on TradingView, you can see I've obviously identified this orange dot right here. This orange dot is the reversal signal right there. That is called the TBO close short symbol. That little orange dot can print a lot of profits with the right conditions. We saw this orange dot printed on the four hour chart for Bitcoin on Sunday night. And since that symbol is printed, Bitcoin is up 7% or so. But this is normal for Bitcoin. 7% is actually pretty good, but it's not like an epic return. If we take a look at a couple of other charts like Ethereum, we saw this same symbol here on Ethereum. And even though the price has fallen down a little bit, we are net positive after seeing this symbol. And to be honest, the rest of these tickers over here, we're seeing the same things, some to some greater degrees, some to some lesser degrees, but all of these charts have one thing in common. They all printed a TBO close short symbol. So before I show you more charts, I want to explain real quickly what this thing is. The TBO stands for the Trending Breakout Indicator. And this thing excels at identifying the strength of a trend, much like moving averages do. But this indicator will also tell you when the current trend strength is starting to weaken, when there are flashing warning lights that you don't really see when you're looking at the chart, but the TBO is giving you an unbiased ding, 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 ding alert, letting you know that the trend could be changing, that the trend that was once really strong is starting to weaken a little bit, and there might be a trend change. This sounds like a negative thing when in fact, it's actually a positive thing if you think about it in the context of this symbol, which is a close short. So what does that mean? So a TBO close short simply means that we are in an open short position, meaning we're in a bearish position right now or a bearish trade with the TBO. And the close short is letting us know two things. One, that the trend, the current bearish trend could be coming to an end soon. So number two, consider taking some profits out of your short position. But the way that I interpret this more is look at this as an early entry opportunity for a long position. And that's exactly what we're seeing here on the chart for TradingView. When we take a look at a chart like ICP, Internet Computer, we actually saw a cluster, which is something I define as more than one of these in a row, right here on Thursday, actually. Thursday at 5 p.m. and then Friday at 1 a.m. When these two fired right there, we can see that the price not only shot up from there about 12%, but now it's currently, well, what went up as high as 59%, it's currently up 54% because ICP is pumping right now. Note that it also helps that we have a TBO breakout cluster. Those white dots right there tell us that there should be explosive price action to the upside. There's going to be explosive breakout coming. These first two called it and the third one seals the deal. Now, unfortunately, this is happening right on this candle. I like to see these happen like right here so I can catch the breakout instead of watch the breakout happen. But it's still effective in, it's still effective in identifying where the breakout is going to be happening. But if you miss the breakouts, that's too bad. Like that happens. We don't really want to chase. We want to find the earliest possible entry. And that's where these dots come in real handy. If I can see on the chart that the TBO closed short symbols are appearing and there's more than one and it's near support, this is actually the golden scenario that you want to look out for. So for all of you visual traders and trading is very much a visual activity, you need to burn some patterns into your mind. I want you to burn this into your mind. And I want to break this down for you real easy. And this is how I've made thousands and thousands of dollars trading crypto. I look and I wait for a TBO close short symbol. Now, if you don't have the time to sit in front of the screen all day, that's okay. Set up an alert. So in trading view, you go to the condition, go to the indicator, which is the TBO standard. We're going to choose close short. This is on the four hour time frame, So this alert's going to be here. So I'm going to choose once per bar close because I want confirmation. I don't want early warnings. That could be a false alarm. Give it a message for yourself. 
um, just to tell you the context and the time, you can also send notifications to your app. If you have the app on your smartphone or device, your iPad, whatever tablet, you can show a pop-up if you're locked in, sending an email, webhook URL, playing a sound, like all this stuff is great, but you need to do something that's going to be helpful for you but notify yourself. That's the whole purpose of this alert. Now, for those of you that use trading, or sorry, trading, those of you that use three commas or all trading, you have the ability to use webhooks. And these webhooks, like you saw back in the alert section, you can actually put in the three commas or the all trading webhook. And in this text field here in the message, you can actually start and stop bots, which is really cool. I have playlists about all that kind of stuff here on my channel. And of course, courses that talk about it, but I'm trying to give the quick and dirty and the easy way. So the first thing we want to look out for are the TBO close short alerts, preferably more than one. The second thing we want to look out for after these guys is that we want these to be really close to this green dotted line, which is TBO support. This TBO support line is automatically plotted by the TBO indicator. And you can see that it changes as the price goes lower. And then as the price makes new highs or a previous level that was resistance gets broke, not broken, but weakened and the trend is moving up, sometimes this will drop down like we've seen here. And now it's far above this previous resistance. That's fine. But the main thing we're looking out for, for this early entry opportunity is we want to see a cluster of these right above TBO support. I didn't take this trade. For those of you that are wondering, you're like, wow, what an amazing trade he got into. I I didn't get into this trade. I've been, I've been in this trade for months. Uh, I've been in ICP for a while. I'm still holding it. Now let's look at a couple of charts that haven't done this explosive reversal yet to figure out if they're a good opportunity for a bottom buy. Some of these have happened more recent than others. So depending on when you watch this video, it might not be relevant, but you'll be able to see how did the chart react based off of these symbols. So the first one we're going to look at over here is Maker. Note that we don't have any current closed shorts for Maker, but back over here, and this is over the weekend, we saw one closed short, and then we immediately saw three TBO breakouts in a row, which I define as a cluster. First off, we didn't have a cluster on the TBO close short, so I would have missed this. Plus, it was going to probably go off at 9 a.m. on Saturday. But what an amazing entry. This was basically near enough support to be a good signal to get into an entry. We had our breakout, and these are the kind of breakouts that I like to see. While the ICP breakout right now looks juicy because the price has shot up like 17 18%, this one on Maker is actually way better because we haven't seen the price already rocket up super duper high. So once we see this breakout, we can enter and then we can just sit in our position and we'd be sitting at a nice 39% profit. Like that's pretty juicy. It's pretty nice. Let's look at some more charts to find out if we have any other good dip by opportunities here. Dot currently has one single dot on the four hour time frame. It is above support, but it's a little bit too high above support for my liking. I really like to see them a lot closer. Well, one thing that's really nice about this chart is that it does have a nice reversal happening here. We can see the price is moving up higher and higher. We're getting up to the top of the cloud, which is what this red area is right here, which was also previously green. So the price was bullish. It went into bearish consolidation, broke below the cloud, which would be bearish. And now it's struggled. And now it's going through bullish consolidation. And once it breaks through the cloud, it'll be bullish again. And we'll be heading back up to $11. So is this one a great one? So-so. I'm in a position actually already from this, from another trade setup that I had posted in the Better Traders membership. So I'm not going to be doing anything here, but this is admittedly a bit too late. However, if you're using the TBO and you see a good setup like this, where do you enter? That's a great question. The truth is that it's really hard to find an entry. You're going to be looking at your eyes and you're going to be like, well, I don't want to buy down there because I don't want to miss out on the rally, but I definitely don't want to buy up too high because that That means I'm not going to get as good of a profit potential. You have two options. The conservative option is to go back to the chart and to look at where the TBO fast line is. And let me show you where that is real quick on this chart right here for DOT. So the TBO fast line is this pink line right here that was once green. It depends on if the chart or rather the TBO, the cloud is bullish or if it's bearish. So what I like to do is once I get one of these, I like to place my order here on the TBO fast line. And again, for all of you bot traders out there, you can use a condition to start a bot. So 
For example, when the price of DOT crosses the TBO fast line, then you can start a bot deal. Again, you would use a webhook for three commas or all trading, put in the right context here for the message. Boom, there you go. So you don't actually have to look at the chart and wait for this. You don't have to chase it. You set up an alert, it will start a bot, and then it'll enter. Now, obviously with this chart, that's not likely to happen. We could see a quick pullback, but that might change the trajectory of this chart. So one option you have is just using DCA strategy. Whereas you would place an entry at about, and I'm going to use this long position. We're not going to treat this as a stop loss, but as a DCA level. So one option is to enter here, even though the price has already moved up about 5%, we want to consider using DCA when we have this. Because just just because we got one of these TBO closed shirts does not guarantee the price goes up into the moon forever to the right. Like that's not how it works. But we look at it as an early entry warning. So I'm going to look at trying to take profit just below this long line of resistance right here. So about there looks good. And I'm not going to use a round number like 11 or 12. 11.448 looks great. That's a really weird number, very random number. Plus, it's also 15.6%, which is great. So here's the deal. If I'm going to use DCA, I want to make sure to maximize any and all fear that might be in the market. So if this happens to be incorrect, which does happen, don't let that scare you. If you're using a hard stop, that will hurt. And this is where using the spot market really, really helps. It's a big benefit to you. But by using the spot market, we can DCA, meaning I could enter here at 9.89, place another order down here, down 11% to capitalize on any fear that might happen. Maybe there might be a sudden pullback for Bitcoin. I want to have orders layered down below my entry just in case, because if that happens, I can average down my entry. Whereas my entry right now is here at 9.887 or so. Once that DCA level is filled, I'm actually going to average down my price probably to around here, about 9.42, which means that I have more profit potential. The other benefit to doing this is that when you use DCA, I might not use as much size up here. And I'm going to actually put twice as much size into this. So if this trade right here is going to be for $10, I'm going to put $20 down here. So the total size is 30. So if I were to yield a profit of 15% with $10, that's nice. It's a buck 50. Good job. It's 15%. But if my actual size, because I get filled on my DCA order, is now three times as much. Well, then my 30% position, sorry, my $30 position is now going to yield about 20%. So I'm actually going to make about five or six bucks around there. But you can see that it's actually a very, very nice way to average down your entry. Plus you can squeeze out more profit when the price goes up higher. Let's keep looking at some more charts on the four hour time frame. Again, critical that we're looking at the four hour time frame. Here we are on IMX. This is immutable. And we have two TBO closed shorts, but this is really high above the existing level of support. Now we have a long line of historical support. I'm not even going to go off of that. I usually go off of the existing support level, not historical support level. So IMX, while it does have a cluster right there, and we enter here on the TBO fast line, the price goes against us by 5%, but currently we'd be up 10%. It looks good, but being so high above support like that, it makes me a little bit more cautious. So I would definitely, if I decide to go in on this, I would look to enter at the TBO fast line. I would have gotten my entry. I look to layer another safety trade down here or DCA order down here because we have a lower wick. From March 6th, we have TBO support telling us right at 2.463, sorry, 2.4763 that this is a good layer of support. So I'm going to place my DCA order just above that because I want to secure my entry, okay? We don't see that happen, so we use DCA, but only use that one-third of our possible three-thirds, or full size, of our position. But it's still a position in profit, and you can't argue with that. Crow, or Crypto.com. This one also has a TBO close short on the four-hour. And note, we got our entry here on the four-hour time frame. The price is up also about 10%. This one was a little bit better. And the previous one, but still 13% above our support line. Not so great. Not the best entry. Now, here's where things get interesting. I like seeing this, where we have more than one TBO close short happening on the four-hour time frame in close proximity, which is what I define 
as a cluster. A cluster is when you get more than one of these symbols, the close long, close short, breakout, breakdown happening ideally in a row. We don't always see it happen in a row, but seeing it happen in close proximity like this is a good sign. Albeit, I, um, albeit XMR has not had a very, very good time recently. Um, it was delisted from Binance, which caused it to drop from 166 down to $99, but it has recovered. Note, we had a very similar TBO closed short cluster down here when it was about 6% above the support line right there. What happened after that? Well, the price did move up about 24%. So here we have another opportunity. So perhaps this could also move up 20%, maybe, but we're looking at a really long line of resistance right there for XMR Monero. Tau actually has one of the best reversal symbols out there. This TBO close short is only about 2% away from the from the candle itself and from the support level right here, which is great. Ideally, I'd like to see a lot more of these, but we might not see that. Uh, right now, Tau is bouncing, which is really good. Another thing that gives me confidence in a chart like Tau to take an entry is that if I go to the daily time frame, I'm going to focus on this line right here, which is the TBO slow line. On the daily time frame, the direction of the TBO slow line will give me more confidence to enter a trade on a bounce like this, on a reversal. Because if this is pointing and angling upward, like you can see it is right now, it's just going up, up, up. This is a strong, strong trend. Even though we're seeing a pullback on this, even though we're seeing signs that the trend is weakening and the price is inside the cloud, this is still a good entry, at least in my opinion, for Tau. Because there's a good chance that this will snap back and at least pop all the way up here to 733, maybe even 760. Injective Protocol also has another TBO close short really, really close to the TBO support line right there on the four hour, only 4% away. If we go to the daily time frame, this is looking not as strong as Tau. Note how wide the cloud is right there and injective protocol, how thin the cloud is, the price is inside of it. But you know what? I think this one actually has a good chance of bouncing back higher. If anything, we're going to rely on the magic of DCA to get us a better entry in case the price happens to drop and go against us. Say has a TBO closed short cluster on the four hour time frame, which is amazing. So we can see how the previous one worked out. While this one was about 10% away from our support line, the price didn't touch the TBO fast line. But after this was printed, it did shoot up about 90%. And then in total, about 40% on a nice little victory pump there. Now we're seeing two of these in a row. We're seeing a slow recovery. I actually really like this. Even though it's really far away from our support line, I like the fact that two of these happen really close together. I would not be surprised if Say moved up at least 14%, if not all the way up to this red line here for the TBO, just above a dollar. Algo, we can see again another cluster, and this one is showing a positive move. Algorand is now moving up from our bounce off the TBO fast line right there on the four hour time frame after our cluster. See it? So there's our cluster. Move up. We get a bounce, a dip into the TBO fast line. That's our entry. And now we're up about 11%. Algo can continue to run. And we have strong resistance right now, just under 32 cents. Even though this is way higher than I like to see above the TBO support line. It's kind of hard to ignore how amazing this is when we see these two closed shorts together making a cluster and we see our touch to the TBO fast line and now it's recovering. It's looking really good. The last one is Beam. Now, when we go to the daily time frame, Beam, like Injective Protocol, is looking a little bit weak, admittedly. The cloud has constricted, meaning that it's tightened. We're seeing symbols that are letting us know the trend could be flipping bearish. If we go to beam, we're seeing even more. We got two of these, and this is the opposite of the close short. This is close long, meaning that if we're in a long position and we haven't taken profits yet, consider to take profits. Be aware that the trend could change to be bearish, but because we're in a bull market right now, because we're seeing a recovery across the market, I would not be surprised if we saw beam pull a recovery as well. So we saw a real cluster. This is four of them happening in the span of three days. And they were printed about 6% or so above support. 
Now, we're seeing a move right now, not massive. We're only up about 5% from the cluster, but we could still see it move up 18%, 23%. And again, I'm going off of historical TBO resistance levels. You'll note though, right there, see that cluster? So we have a cluster of TBO closed shorts. What happened after that? Well, the price shot up initially 30%, dipped down, went up higher 35%, dipped down, went up all the way to 61%. Do not doubt these reversal symbols. The TBO close short symbols are fantastic at letting us know when a trend change could be happening. Emphasis on could, not will. Now here's the thing. For those of you that are interested in this, we actually are forwarding over 800 TBO close short alerts to our private Discord server through the Better Traders membership. So over here, you can see we have four channels. We have four hour Bitcoin, one day Bitcoin. And these are BTC paired charts. So you can see like band, did you buy quantum on the daily? We have quantum again, SNX. You'll see a lot of these ones pop up. Now, in the same way we want to look for a cluster, we can use this to monitor if we see any ones that are happening over and over again, something that's happening repeatedly. So we have AMB. Let's see. I don't see any ones that are, there's quantum and DGB. There's DGB again. We saw quantum back on the daily, so that's actually a really good sign. We also have alerts for the four hour time frame here for USD and the daily time frame. So again, these are a ton of alerts. When things are bearish, we're going to see more alerts be firing over here because these are our early reversal alerts for all of our USD and BTC pairs. So this is a great way for you to be alerted to what could be changing what could be flipping or what could be pumping, which is really awesome. And if you want access to this, you have to go to thebettertraders.com and you click on this tab here for memberships and you scroll down, you can learn about what's available in our membership subscription. And it's not just the TBO. We also have a watch list. We have, um, which actually I have to work on, the April watch list, which is coming up in a week. I have trade setups. We have other indicators alongside the TBO, the trending breakout indicator. There's a ton of stuff. I actually am not going to talk about all of it, but if you want to know more, you got to head on over to thebettertraders.com. The main thing you need to know about this reversal strategy is that it's not a hundred percent sure thing every time. And you do have to zoom out. And I like to just get some confirmation looking at the daily time frame and again looking at the TBO slow line. So if we're thinking about that moving up, it's that fourth line that's the very bottom line for a bullish moving chart. That's the TBO slow line. That's what I'm going to be looking at for confirmation for a bullish trend. So if there is a pullback, if that line is still pointing up and the price goes inside of the cloud, it's not going to face me. I'm going to look at the four hour time frame. I'm going to look for TBO close shorts and I'm going to have more confidence to enter those trades. And those are the moments where most people are not going to be entering any trades. Those are the times when most people will be fearful and they're going to be sitting on the sidelines and then they're going to enter when everything has already started to come up. Like ICP, a lot of people are rushing into ICP right now because it's pumping. Wouldn't it have been better to get into ICP a couple of days ago on the weekend when no one was wanting to get in? So that way you could maximize your profits, get in early. That's the whole trick. That's the whole secret to using the TBO close short alerts. So if you watched up into this point and you haven't hit the like button, slap yourself and then slap the like button. If you haven't subscribed, slap yourself, other cheek, whatever you want to do, and then hit the subscribe button. So until the next time, you know what to do. Stay awesome and stay in the green. Peace.